Okay, so we recently made a video about the world's most northern and southern capital cities. Oh, and just to clarify something, a lot of people did comment saying that Nuuk of Greenland should have ranked as the most northern capital, which is a fair point, but as it's an autonomous region of the Kingdom of Denmark, we thought we'd leave it out. The same applies to this video. With the world's most northern and southern capitals, it was pretty easy. It is quite simply the capital cities that are closest to the North and South Poles respectively. However, with East and West, there is no such reference point, so we must use Prime Meridian. Prime Meridian or Greenwich Meridian is a geographical reference line that passes through the Royal Observatory Greenwich in London, England. And quite simply, anything to the east of that point is the Eastern Hemisphere, anything to the west is the Western Hemisphere so it is technically possible to have one foot in each hemisphere. Therefore, it comes to no surprise that London, the capital of England, is the capital city with the lowest longitude in the world. So in this video, we will take a look at the world's five most eastern and western capitals based on this imaginary line. Starting off with the five most western capital cities on Earth. Number five, San Salvador of, you guessed it, El Salvador in Central America with 89.21 degrees west. Number four, Guatemala City of Guatemala in Central America with 90.50 degrees west. Number three, Mexico City of Mexico in North America with 99.13 degrees west. Number two, Apia of Samoa in the South Pacific Ocean, 171.75 degrees west. And finally, the most western capital city in the world, Nukalofa, Tonga in the South Pacific Ocean, which is 175.2 degrees west. What's most interesting about these five western capital cities is the jump from third place to second place. Third place Mexico City is 99.1 degrees west, whereas second place Apia of Samoa is 171.7 degrees west. This is such a large jump compared to the rest of the other capital cities. And now let's move on to the most eastern capitals of the world, starting off with number 5. Majuro of Marshall Islands in the Central Pacific Ocean, 171.2 degrees east. In fourth place, we have South Tarawa of Kiribati of Oceania in the Central Pacific, 173 degrees east. Number three, Wellington of New Zealand, 174.77 degrees east. Wellington also featured in our previous video. It finds itself being not only the third most eastern capital, but the most southern too. This goes to show just how remote New Zealand is. Number two, Suava of Fiji in the South Pacific, 178.4 degrees east. And then finally, the most eastern capital city in the world, Funafuti of Tuvalu in Oceania, 179.19 degrees east. What is quite bizarre is that with the world's most southern and northern capitals, that's Reykjavik, Iceland to Wellington, New Zealand, the distance is extremely far. In fact, over 17,000 kilometers. Whereas the capitals, who are the most eastern and western, are actually really close to each other, and in fact, pretty much neighbors. Getting from London to Tuvalu is, as you'd expect, a bit of a pain. The best option I could find was a journey that involved three flights that cost £2,800 for economy and would take over 31 hours. As Prime Meridian is an imaginary line that runs through London, basically any city or country that is as far east or west away from London finds itself on this list. It isn't just London, England who sits on Prime Meridian, however. The Prime Meridian line also passes through France and Spain in Europe and Algeria, Mali, Burkina Faso, Tonga and Ghana in Africa. The only landmass crossed by the meridian in the southern hemisphere is Antarctica. So there we have it, we have now been through the world's most southern, northern, eastern and western capital cities. What should we do next? Let us know below. Feel free to like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike the video if you didn't, subscribe if you loved it and unsubscribe if you hated it. Regardless of whatever you do, thanks for watching and we will see you very soon in our next fascinating video.